Hi, my name is Andrew Moses. Today I'm going to give you a quick high-level overview of Freshdesk. So Freshdesk is a multi-channel customer service solution, which um, I've been consulting for more than five years. Just wanted to um, spend a few minutes to kind of give you guys a high-level um, look or demo of uh, the solution. So here's the dashboard of Freshdesk, um, where you can look at all these different tickets, how many are due today, open, on hold, etc. Anything that happens in the system, like a Facebook Live um, feed, it shows up here. I can see what what my team, or who, who in my team is available. As you can see, not many people available right now. So that's the dashboard, which gives you everything that's happening within the system. Now, first thing I'm going to talk to you about is uh, the different channels of communication. When I say channels of communication. What are the options for your end user to talk to your support team or talk to your company? So let me start off with email. Every company has an email address. It could be an info, support, or help. Any email address that you have can be configured to be created into Freshdesk. So the, the advantage of this is that you don't have to sit inside your inbox. So our info email at CloudChoice gets forwarded straight into Freshdesk, which will be converted into a ticket. We do also have a different brand, which we support. It's M2O Apps. Any email that goes to support at M2O Apps will also be created as a ticket inside our system. So it's a single account where we can manage multiple um, email addresses. The next thing is um, an end user portal. Now, when I say an end user portal, um, we talk about self-service a lot. So we just wanted to kind of show you the end user portal. So here, as an end user for Cloud Choice, people can come look at our FAQs right in our um, landing page, which is connected to our website. So it looks like an extension of our website. People can look at videos. It's all interactive what FAQs, which can be completely um, customized so that the end user can get all the information that they need. Let's say if they don't find a solution, they can log a ticket in. Now, when they log a ticket in, because we have enough FAQs available, we want to try to reduce the workload. So what we do is, as and when they type certain keywords, we can suggest solutions. This way, we can try to reduce the workload. Now, you could also see here, I've created a customized drop-down box. And when I say customized, it's only a simple configuration in the system. You don't need to learn coding or anything. I will show you how simple it is. So let's say, for example, someone needs customer service consulting. They select that, and they could just log a ticket right here. I'm just doing it right now. So let me just customer service consulting, just for an example. Now, that's the end user's field. Now that I'm logged into the system, it automatically logged me in as an administrator here. So let's get out of that admin tab. So that's the um, end user portal. And as you can see, I have multiple portals that I've created for both my brands. Again, you could have multiple email addresses, multiple brands, everything managed under a single Freshdesk account. Now the next thing is a live chat. Now, Freshdesk has an option, I mean, integrated live chat. It is out of the box. You don't have to do any um, integrations of such. All that you have to do is enable. And as you can see here, right now, you can see that small um, notification that uh, someone's in our website. They're chatting with us. I could just answer their question right from here. And if I need to transfer this chat to a different person, I have the ability to transfer the chat. Let's say I pick this chat up, but it's related to techno technical help or if, if there is something related to sales, I want to transfer this to Corrado. I could just go ahead, select Corrado and hit transfer. So now Corrado gets that notification and he will um, take that chat. And he, from moving forward, he could just manage it. And once I'm done with that, I could just go ahead and save it as a new ticket or attach it to an existing ticket. So that's how simple it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and not convert it into a ticket. Now the next option I wanna show you is the phone channel. Again, 
you could buy toll-free numbers, local numbers, anywhere you are. The advantage of a system like this is that you can be mobile. You can be anywhere in the world and still answer your questions. You don't have to be stuck in front of a computer or in your office all the time to be able to serve your customers. So I'm on the go. I can, you can see here on the right-hand side, calls coming in. I could just go ahead and accept it. Now the other buzz that you guys are hearing is my mobile app, my Freshdisk mobile app, giving me a notification that that's the call. So again, Freshdisk completely takes the, um, gives you the flexibility so that I don't really have to even sit in front of my computer. I can be on the run. I can answer calls right from my app. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a new ticket. I say, you know what, the customer wanted a proposal. Request it. I can go ahead and create a new ticket. Save it. So that's the that's the um, phone channel. Now the next thing I want to show you guys is the the social media side of it. Now um, today, if the customer is unhappy, first thing they do is go write a tweet about you or put something um, bad on your Facebook page. So we wanted to, um, I mean, in Freshdesk, you have the first step. Basically, you could respond to these uh, tweets and Facebook comments right from within the application. Most of the time, your marketing team sits in, um, in um, your social media sites, and if somebody asks you a question, it's going to be copied, sent, into an, sent in as an email, and then your team responds back to it. It takes a lot of time, and there are uh, chances that it could be dropped. So as you can see here, Microsoft Canada sent us a direct message, which I would have just converted into a ticket, or I could just reply to them, retweet their tweets right from within um, our portal right here. So what this gives us the flexibility is if it's a marketing-related issue, I mean, marketing-related um, question, our marketing team handles it. If it is support-related, someone's asking us a question, I could go ahead and reply from it right from within our application. So this is our backend, right? I mean, Freshdesk is one place where we log in to manage all our different communication with our customer, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, everything is done right from within Freshdesk. So here's a quick view of our Facebook page. Now, the reason I um, wanna show you the Facebook page is that um, if you look at our Facebook page, there are a lot of things that's happening. However, we also have an option for our customers to access the portal right from within uh, the end user, right from within Facebook. So if you look at um, Cloud Choice here, I could go look at um, all my tickets, recent tickets if I've submitted something, I can browse the articles right from within Facebook. So if you could see, I'm still inside my Facebook page. However, our end users can access the um, fresh desk portal. So these are a bunch of options. Apart from that, there's also a widget option, which you could just kind of throw the widget in any website that you have. And also, let's say if you're a mobile first company, you want to have a mobile um, in-app support. Freshdesk also has an SDK, which you could build in. Um, that is a whole, new, a whole different story, which I could um, do another video later on. Today, I just wanted to talk to you about the different um, channels. We talked about email, portal, live chat, social media. The next thing real quick is the automation. Now, uh, the advantage of having a solution like Freshdesk is that it, it lets your team become more efficient. What I mean by efficient is that as soon as a ticket enters the system, whether it is, let's say for an example, if it is sent to any of these email addresses, I want it to automatically be assigned to Crowdle. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the queue time out completely. Rather than letting the uh, ticket sit in the queue, as soon as a ticket enters our system or an email enters our system, it gets automatically assigned to my team. And I can also set up a different priority. Now, the reason I set up priority is to set up expectation, both from an end user's perspective and our team's perspective. So what I mean by uh, expectation, is I have different service level agreements. Depending on the priority, the expectation of my customer is that we will respond within four hours if it is a high priority request. 
and we will resolve their ticket within 12 hours. So what this does is, as soon as the ticket comes in, it gets assigned to Corrado, and he knows that he has four hours to respond to this ticket, and he has 12 hours to res resolve it. If things don't get resolved within the time, there is an escalation that is sent to me, which I could just jump in and see what's going on, or if there's help needed, we could figure it out. At the end of the day, we want to make sure our customers are happy and we have uh, responded to within the time that we um, kind of promised them. Now, all these different tickets that you see created inside Freshdisk is uh, pulled into this view here. As you can see, this one was created via the portal. This one's created via the email, Twitter, any, any different channel that you've created, everything goes into the system. Now, working on the ticket is, again, pretty simple. I can click on this result, and let's say we have a knowledge base articles that we have built. It's not only useful for your end user, it can also be useful for your agents. So let's say if I know that this is the answer, I can just insert the content straight into my reply and have it sent to my end user without having to type or copy paste information, just simple as that, create it. And let's say if I need a private con, I want to ask Corrado for some additional information, I can have a private conversation with him and say, can you call this customer? This is a private note that the end user will not be able to see it. So this gives you the flexibility to manage multiple channels within the same um, login, have, have all the flexibility to see exactly what you want to see by creating filters on the left-hand side here. Let's say I want to see only tickets assigned to me. I could go ahead and filter tickets right here. Now, early on, I showed you the end users portal, and um, I talked about a ticket field. Just wanted to show you how easy it is to customize a ticket field. Let's say in this case, I want to change the list of products that I want to add in here. I could just go add an additional item. If I want to delete it, I can delete it. If I want to move it around, I could just move them around and then just publish it. This gets automatically pushed into our um, end user portal, our web page, our widget, everywhere you see, it will automatically be pushed in. So I just made that change just to show you how real time it is. I can go to our CRM solutions here, or let's say under the contact tab. I just made that change. Now if, I've gone, if our customers click here, they go to our landing page, and then you see, fresh sales is now moved to the second slot. So it's pretty simple for us to make changes in the backend, which gets pushed into our website. So those are the different options, um, some basic automation. There are multiple automations, and that is itself is a whole new video that we could do. So just one other thing I wanted to quickly um, share with you is the supervisor. So what happens in follow-up is I've seen clients um, after they respond to a customer, they, they put their tick, I mean they make their emails unread so that they want to follow up with their customer. However, um, I mean I know it's tedious and there are there are chances that you might forget it or miss out on some. So what we have done is there's a supervisor rule. We have set up a supervisor role so that every time my team responds, they move a ticket to a resolved state. We give our customers, our clients, 48 hours. If they do not respond in 48 hours, Freshdesk will automatically close the ticket. Now, we are in the customer service business, so we wanted to be um, double sure if our customers were happy. So when Freshdesk closes the ticket after 48 hours, we have set up a customer satisfaction survey to be pushed out to our end users, which gets done automatically. Again, a ticket comes in, it gets automatically assigned to your agent. They have 12 hours to fix it. And let's say they move it to resolve state. We give our customers 48 hours. If they do not respond, we assume that they're happy. We close the ticket automatically and Freshdesk will send them a satisfaction survey. Now, what happens if my customer says I'm not happy? Traditional systems, what happens is you'd have to wait for a month and to run a report figure out that there was a customer who was not happy. By the time you get back to the customer, you probably lost that customer. However, inside Freshdesk, there's something called an observer. So what I've done is I've set up a, a 
event that I'm capturing is that as soon as a customer says their feedback is not good, I want to immediately change the status, get it assigned directly to me so that I could call, make sure that everything was okay, and I can actually save the client. Or maybe there was just a misunderstanding that they were not happy. I'll be able to call them right away because we believe that calling a happy customer um, right away is not as important as um, calling somebody who's not happy with our service. So we make it a priority to make sure that as soon as somebody says they're not happy, we're going to get on a call, make sure that we talk to them, at least hear out what their problem is and try to resolve it. So that's that's the kind of workflow where from the time the ticket is created till it's closed, it's a complete workflow that is all built into our solution. As you can see, there are multiple other uh, features that I can dive into one at a time. I'll, I'll be doing follow-up videos on uh, different uh, features. Right now, I just want to jump straight into a reporting section, which is, again, the power of a solution like Freshdesk is that any information that you have entered into the, inside the system, you will be able to report against it. I can see how many emails came in. I mean, so by source, email, Twitter, chat, how is our uh, tickets by priority? Let's say if I want to know exactly what happened to these um, other brand M2 or related tickets, I can click on them, look at the list. If I need to export them for some additional reporting purposes, I can import all my custom fields. So I showed you how easy it is to create custom fields. You create a custom field, you can create automation based on them, and you can also report based on the custom fields that we created. So again, it's, it's, it's dynamic, it gets integrated. It's not just a single uh, field. The field gets pulled into all your automations, your reporting, so that at the end of the day, it just makes it easy for you to uh, look at every information that you need you will be able to report on it. Here's another beautiful report of um, what, what's going on in your volume, how are tickets coming in, resolved versus unresolved tickets. Obviously, here you see a lot of different trends that, that's going on. What days tickets come in higher. We could, it, it also gives us an opportunity to kind of staff according to the time that we need more uh, people on in versus when we know that it's going to be slow. So it gives us that kind of flexibility um, with, with just basic reporting. We'll be able to even manage our workflow, workforce, if you will. So that's just a quick overview of Freshdesk. Um, as, as you can tell, I was um, more high level in this demo. However, our plan is to get in, dive deep into each of these modules, give you guys additional information on all these modules. So what I'll do is, if you have any questions, um, send us an email. It's andrews, A-N-D-R-E-W-S, at cloudchoice.ca, or give us a shout at 905-684-1485. We'll be uh, more than happy to uh, field your questions, uh, make sure um, to answer them. Visit our website at cloudchoice.ca, and uh, feel free to reach us on Facebook, Twitter. We have Freshdesk, so we will respond to you fast. Thanks for watching, guys.